Hi everyone, we are going to continue from tech from the scratch and we're going to today be working on how to use the browser, how to browse with your laptop, right? So a lot of us are so used to using phones to browse and believe me, people who want to come into tech want to see how do you even use the laptop to browse like i mentioned in the previous videos if you are well advanced this may look too elementary to you but trust me there's somebody out there who want to see this video so try to check around you and see who you can help with this video to know how to browse with a laptop so if you watch the previous video you would see that i explained this is called the desktop of the laptop so right now i want to bring out the browsers that i have I have two browsers here. One is the Microsoft Edge and the other one is the Google Chrome. So, and again, I'll bring up our on-screen keyboard. So if I press this search and then, uh, I mean, this Windows button here, it should bring up my applications and I'm looking for, let's say I'm looking for Edge browser. Okay, so I'm going to type it here. And then if it is up here, I'm going to press the enter key on my physical keyboard. Okay, so you can do same on the on-screen keyboard. And it brings up for you so here is where we are whatever you want to browse let's say you want to browse google.com type google.com and you are going to that site to search for something it's here right so this is where you now type whatever you want to search from google and then you can you can decide to search what okay let's say how do i how do i begin my career in tech and that's what you're looking for so once you hit enter which is after typing it you hit this enter key on your keyboard and it's going to bring this for you so you can navigate through whichever one that is giving you uh, information that you like to see of course you can decide to click on that and it will just bring up for you you can read and then you can understand how that works okay so the next thing is how to add a tab to your browser how do you add make sure that what you have here is still open and you are adding another tab it's just to come here right and let's say you want to type office.com here on this other one you can always do it and there are other options for example if you are on a browser and you are doing something that you would want to come back to but you want to progress on the other one right so you can also have the option to duplicate your tab so if you duplicate this tab then it's going to come up in two form remember this one is here and this one is also here so if i want to sign in i can continue with those ones then that is how to duplicate your tab duplicate tab how to add new tab to your browser okay now if you have this here also uh, let's say we click back for example you remember that we have it open here right and you want to keep this page active while you are browsing so that you can always come back here for example you have much information here this is the first guy talking about becoming a software engineer and if you scroll down you're going to see other suggestions coming on how to continue in tech so you can you may just want to right click on this and say open in a new tab open in a new tab okay and it's just leave this one the way it is and open this one on a new tab for you to read and then if you feel that this information is okay by you you can use it if you want those to browse more of course you can come back and right click on this as you open in a new tab so there are several options if you look at it there is open in new tab there's open link in new window there's open link in, in private window i'm going to explain all of this also okay so having seen all of this this is the edge browser okay so if you want to open the in private windows so you come to this far right hand side the three dots here you click on it and then you see the new in private window though this is a window devoid of any credential no profile on it is just as clean as anything without a catch so sometimes if you have issues signing into some specific sites or applications you may or web applications you may want to try it on this browser here and then try to put it in in private mode just in case this is being affected by catch so don't worry when we progress on this journey you will understand what it means by catch because i will show you how to 
clear the cache of a browser. So this is how to open the in private windows of um, the Microsoft Edge, okay, and work on it, okay. So how do you open the in private windows or um, how do you use the other browsers that you have in the system or in this machine? I said I have another browser called Google Chrome. So the way I would do that is I will again come to the search bar here and you will see Google Chrome here so I can click on it and it opens. Uh, I can maximize it this way and whatever I'm looking for already the google.com is already open for me. So if I come here and say how do I start a tech career from scratch for example I type that there and I click on that again it's going to give me several information so I can decide to okay, click on this and then I say open in new window okay let me not do that yet I can say okay open a new tab for me new tab and then it will just put up here for me to see what um, this particular site is talking about starting a tech a career from, uh, from the scratch and then this one also is talking about it if I want it to be open somewhere here I will just click on this and then it's just going to pop up on another um, tab for me so I can navigate through to look for the information that I will need of course if I still need another one I may just do this and I say open a new tab that way I can always come back to the very first that was open for me I can go to check what this site is talking about what I'm looking for I haven't read that I can come back to this to check okay what is this other guy talking about as well I can come back here to see what this guy is talking about so let's say for example I want I have this information here and I want to share this information to someone right so that the person can just be directed to this place when he or she opens the link so i will right click on it and i will say copy to highlight so that if that guy who is on the edge browser on the edge browser has that link so the link is let me bring up notepad this is also an application text editing application if you check the last video you will see how this is so this is a, a, a mini link that was shared from the other document so if this person now paste it on this browser and hit this then it's just going to open that particular site and highlight where this guy spoke about this all right without having to go through the entire document so this is the difference between copy and copy to highlight so i just wanted to branch off to talk about that so the next thing is how do you create a new browser profile okay how do you create a new browser profile you come to the far right hand side of your screen you click on it where you have like the sign the human being sign there then you have option to set up a new personal profile so you click on it and then when it comes up this way the next thing you do is if you have data that you want to sync i don't want to sync it to any data right now i can say start with our data sync and then i'll confirm to start browsing so when this comes up i can decide to to check the mode i want the browser to be is it supposed to be white do i have it this way so i just want us to have it as plain white okay then i'll do next and then i'll finish it then how do i now um, give this browser profile a name so that i can always know who the owner is so it's for me to go to setting and then when i get to setting i'll see the profile profile 2 that was created so what i will do is this three dots here i'll click on it and i will say edit profile and i will just maybe choose one font stuff that i want to give it and then i can give this tech from scratch from the scratch okay so i'll just click on update and that is going to be the name and the photo of this profile so i have several profiles here. if i click on it i have abc of cloud adele contoso Matt Deb, and then i'll have this user this is the worker school account that is on this browser that is how to create browser profile so what it means is that what i'm browsing inside of this profile stays in this profile and then if i want to browse whatever i'm browsing on the uh, tech to the scratch profile is on the tech to the scratch the from the scratch profile and that is how it all goes right so you can switch in between profiles and this is a very productive way of working so you can just navigate through profile and then it's done so the next thing is how to create profile on chrome remember what we just did is the edge browser right so let's just quickly head on to chrome and bring up how to create profile 
or browser profile in Chrome browser. So for Chrome for Edge browser, you would understand that this picture icon here or human being icon was by the far right left hand side, but the, for the Chrome browser, it is on the far right hand corner. So you click on this and then you have option to, to add down below here. So once you click on add, you have option to say if you have a Google account you want to sign into, you can sign just the same way it asks you to sync your data there. So I'll just say continue without an account and then it comes up like this. I can say tech from the scratch. Okay. And then I'll choose the color I want to give it just to make it uh, look that way. And then I'll hit on this. So what it means is that I have my tech from the scratch now. Good. Yeah, so this is tech from the scratch. So I can switch in between profile. Let's say I do data analytics. That's what I'm browsing here. I'm just trying to show you something. So if I come to the other profile, say I come to this other original profile here, you see that is another different thing that is here entirely. So if I want to go back to what I was browsing on the other profile for some reasons, right? So I can go back to this tech from the scratch, right? And then look for it and do whatever I'm doing. That is this profile key. So I think I have tech from the scratch created twice. So you can come here. So how this works is, for example, you work in an organization and you have different accounts, different email address addresses or the same email address for different applications or different web applications. You can decide to create profiles, different profiles for each of those applications that you are using. So that if you are going to profile A, application A, you should use profile A as the case may be. That way you may want to name the profile according to the applications that you are signing into, let's say uh, Teams, let's say, you know, Excel and so. So that may not make proper sense, but if you are working on an organization, you will know the name of your applications that you can use to name your different browser profile, just so you can navigate between them and do what you want to do without one having to interfere with the other or trying to sign out of one before you can sign into the other. So this is what we can cover on this particular video in the series starting the tech career from the scratch so if you watch it to this um, extent it means you find it interesting and you may just want to give it a like if you have not subscribed to this channel yet you will have to do that just to make sure that we're working together side by side and if you know someone who want to start from the scratch please recommend this playlist to the person let the person subscribe and turn on the notification bell because this is a movement, as it was mentioned in the previous videos, and I'll be dedicated to make sure that we we'll see this to help someone grow from zero to hero. So thank you very much. If you have questions regarding this, you may just want to drop it in the comment section. I will be very happy to give you detailed resolution or answers to the questions I'll be asking me. Thank you very much, and I hope you're going to have a great day. Bye and cheers from here.